Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to reduce temp DB size without restarting SQL Server services. And we'll be using two ways to do it. One is SQL Server Management Studio Graphic User Interface, and other is using T-SQL Script. And I'm connected with my SQL Server instance using SQL Server Management Studio. In order to go to TempDB, you need to expand your databases. You need to expand your system databases. And here is TempDB. Let's go ahead and take a look at the current size of TempDB. We're going to go ahead and right click and go to Properties of TempDB. As you can see right here, the size is 10.75 in my case and available space is 7.57 MB in my case. Keep in mind this size is basically uh, data size, data file size and log file size together of TempDB. So we are interested to find out how much the data files of TempDB holds and how much the log file of TempDB holds. So let's go ahead and cancel this. In order to find the file size, you need to right click on TempDB, go to task, go to shrink and go to files. First up here, as you can see, the file type is data and file name is tempdev. Usually in production system, you have more than one data files in tempdb. And if you are uh, looking into uh, different data, tempdb, tempdb data file, you need to click on file name and choose your desired data file name right here. In my case, I have only one data file, which is tempdev. And currently allocated space of my data file is 10 MB and 59% of my um, of my space is free 59 percent and um, up here as you can see the minimum is required 5 mb keep in mind if minimum require required space is equal to this number right here currently currently allocated space then your um, this method is not going to help you to reduce temp depth that means your uh, temp db basically is being used used sessions are open in there and that space is needed and it will not reduce any size in my case um, i'm taking a scenario that sessions came in used temp db my temp db file my temp db size went up to 10 mb and uh, sessions are completed successfully now minimum required is 5 mb and uh, i want to retrieve some of the space basically for from my tempdb data file so this method is going to help you in that case so let's go ahead and click reorganize pages before releasing the space i'm going to go ahead and use 10 up um, 8 up here and i'm going to go ahead and retrieve couple mb back from this is just a demo in your case it might be huge size and you want it to reduce it reduce it to close to or equal to your minimum required size if you ever want to basically shrink the tempdb file so let's go ahead and click ok and now we're going to go back and see if it really shrunk as you can see the currently allocated space reduced from 10 mb to 8 mb and minimum required is 4 mb so we still have a room to basically um, retrieve some space so we're going to go ahead and reduce the size equal to probably 5 MB or 6 MB and for that we'll be using our T-SQL script so I'm gonna cancel this and I'm going to go ahead and load our script it is really easy script I'm using shrink file and up here is the file size in MB keep in mind that desire size right here uh, needs to be equal or more than what you're shrinking than minimum required in temp db so in my case uh, it's 8 mb and i'm trying to shrink to 10 mb that's not going to work so i'm going to go ahead i know the minimum required uh, uh, um, size was uh, 4 mb basically when you run this command it will tell you that what is the required size so i'm going to go ahead and shrink it to 6 mb because i want to retrieve couple more mbs back so let's go ahead and run this command if you notice right here it says that minimum size required right here is 512 and current size is 760 so let's go ahead and uh, take a look on the shrink uh, on the data size of tempdb let's see that if it goes back to 6 mb it went back to 6 mb so click on file as you can see right here is currently allocated space right here is 6 MB if you're interested to take a look on the log file of temp DB, uh, temp DB I'm sorry uh, and uh, click on file uh, file type and choose log right now the minimum required 
log is zero so I don't need to basically shrink that but in just just in case if you wanted to shrink your log file of tempdb you can go ahead and use the same method uh, to shrink your log file so basically this is it this is how you sh uh, reduce your temp db size without restarting your sql server basically basic method back behind the scene is uh, shrink db just like you shrink any other db uh, in your database user db database so we use sql server management studio graphic user interface and we used uh, tsql script to reduce the size of temp db and i hope this video helps